Hi guys, Sarah here. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be pretty interesting. It's literally products that I fucking hate. So this is the first time I think I've done one of these types of videos. Um, I love the brands. I, actually, I don't have any brand in general that I hate. Um, so if any of these products are like holy grail status to you. I apologize. Please don't be offended. We all have different skin types, girl. You know the deal. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into this video. Please don't forget before you leave this video to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. And while you're there, you might as well hit the notification bell because if you don't, you guys aren't going to know when I upload and I upload every couple days. So I'd love to have you back. So uh, let's just get into it, you guys. Let's get into this video of products I fucking hate. Um, by the way, before anybody assumes anything, like my husband does not beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> um, this, I fell down the stairs, you guys, like I literally slipped on dirty laundry that I was bringing down. So anyways, figured I'd throw that out there just in case someone wants to be an asshole and say something stupid. Um, moving on. So, uh, this is the L'Oreal Beauty Sponge, whatever, this one. And I absolutely love, 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 love putting my foundation on with a sponge. In fact, I rarely use a brush anymore. But um, I went out and bought, I bought this because Casey Holmes, one of my favorite YouTubers out there, I love you, Casey. Not that you'll ever see this video. But I bought this because she loves it. And I honestly, I just really, really, really don't like this at all. It is so rubbery and it doesn't really bounce that much. And it's just not soft. I mean, it's soft. Obviously, it's a sponge. But I mean, fuck. It's like, I don't know. It's almost like, I can't think of any other word to describe it other than like rubbery. It just, it doesn't have that soft, cushiony feeling that I've grown accustomed to that I like. So I don't like it. Up next, I have two different concealers and ironically, they are both high end. Luckily, this isn't a full size, so I don't have to waste it. But um, this is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. Uh, they're very, you know, overhyped, very popular, um, what do you, what you call it? Can I talk or not? Like what the hell is going on? Anyways, this is a concealer and honestly it has pretty good coverage and I just have to say like the only problem that I have with this concealer is that when it blends out, you probably aren't going to be able to tell on camera, but um, when it blends out you guys, it leaves like a line of where I first put it and I just cannot stand it. It just really doesn't blend out for me. I don't know if it's my skin type. I do have very dry skin, um, but it was just a complete disaster. It was a fail for me. Up next, another concealer that I do not care for is the Benefit Boeing Airbrushed Concealer. This concealer is definitely very, very full coverage. It will cover up anything. But the problem that I had with this is it's like a weird, moussey consistency. Um, uh, you know, it just creases. It really, really does. It creases on me. And I cannot stand creasy ass concealer, you guys. It drives me crazy. And, you know, no matter how fast I set it, it just creases immediately. Um, I tried using very, very, very little and it wasn't as bad, but it still creased. Um, my absolute holy grail concealer will always be the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is, in my opinion, the best concealer on the market. Full coverage, super creamy, super blendable, um, but mm, I, I don't like that benefit one. This is the Lip and Cheek uh, lip and cheek whatever it's like it's by milk makeup and it's like a little um what do you call it 
like a stick for that you can use for blush or you can use it for lips and this is the color now this color is very shimmery it's very like reflective but the problem that I have with these like multi-use products um, you know lip and cheek products is it literally is like a sticky bomb and it's it's just it it's it's thick the the formula is very thick and it moves like whatever you have underneath it so whether it's concealer or foundation like it literally will pull at your skin it's so sticky um, I think and it also smells like play-doh mm. didn't like it girl not one bit up next we have a uh, foundation primer this is the hard candy sheer envy coconut water primer stick now because I have um, very dry skin I was super excited to try this out you guys I was stoked I thought that this was gonna be some very quick and easy you know cooling gel type of stick that you you know can put all over your skin um, it does smell really good too very refreshing and um, it's clear but my problem that I had with this foundation is as soon as I would go yeah see it dries almost instantly but as soon as I would go to put my foundation over this it literally would start coming up like it would come off my skin and I would see little pieces of gel all over my sponge and it drove me fucking nuts like no matter how many times I would redo it and I'd like okay I'd think well maybe instead of 10 minutes I'll wait like 15 minutes to make sure it's really really dry and no matter how much you let this dry down by the way this is by hard candy I don't know if I said that um, no matter how much you'd let this dry down you guys it still would come off and that pissed me off up next I have some fake lashes um, and I want to say it's not just this brand it's basically any cheap ass like dollar store false lashes no goodbye peace out I'm done with you I don't want you that these lashes um, these are by oh my lash um, also the ones at the Dollar Tree like you guys I am all about affordable products but the thing is is like the band will not move at all like it's like they make lashes expecting that everybody's eyelid is the same shape and it just doesn't bend it doesn't have any give so the ends were constantly popping off and um, I just was so freaking frustrated and I've been wearing false lashes for so long now like I know the tricks of the trade I know how to get it to work but these these like hard band freaking lashes uh-uh I don't want anything to do with that I have two products from Revlon um, I'm gonna start off with talking about this foundation so this is the Revlon photo ready airbrush effect foundation um, this so um, anyways I bought this Revlon foundation probably a couple months ago I saw that it said new formula and I was so excited to try it tried it out um, it has glitter in it like actual glitter like what's on my lids it had glitter in it so uh, I was literally confused and then frustrated but I actually can still use this because as long as you set it afterwards you can pretty much conceal the fact that it has little pieces of glitter in it so I can only use this when I set it but I don't always set my foundation like I said I have dry skin so I prefer my foundation to be more skin like I don't really like the cakey thick mask type of look and then up next this is the Revlon volume and length magnified this is the waterproof version of um, this this mascara here I do like the brush it's one of those like typical you know one of those typical type of brushes pretty much 
the average, I would say, the average mascara wand. And the problem I had with this is it's number one, it's not waterproof if your life depended on it. Like this is not waterproof at all, but it, it actually flakes off quite a bit as well. So I usually curl my lashes, like if I'm not gonna wear false lashes, I'll put my mascara on and then once my mascara has dried, I will then curl my lashes because the, the curl stays better if you do it um, after your mascara is on. And like half of my mascara would flake off when I did that with this one. So it just really annoyed me and <laughs> I refuse to use this anymore. Okay, last but not least, this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Um, this is like, it's a highlighter, but this was the first highlighter. Um, other than the Wet n Wild one that, um, it like comes in a circle and it has like uh, different colors of uh, like a goldish bronzy highlight. Anyways, that was the first like drugstore highlight, but when highlighters started becoming popular, this was like the first highlighter. Every, they had the powder version and then they also had the, um, the liquid version. And this was super, super popular at first. But, and I actually liked it back then, but the thing is, is there's so, so many to choose from now, um, even at the drugstore, that this is like complete shit now. So um, it's actually, the texture of it doesn't feel bad. Um, my problem with this highlighter was never the texture. It was just the cast that it leaves when the light isn't hitting it. So like I want my, I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can still see a little bit of white there, even when the light isn't hitting it. And um, so, but I still like to use this as like an eyeshadow. So, uh, you know, my standards have been raised <laughs> and uh, this is not a good highlighter anymore. And um, honestly, I don't care for the fact that it has glitter in it either. That really, really emphasizes texture um, on my skin. So, all right, you guys, that's it. That's everything. Those are products that I can't stand. <laughs> um, some of them I have found, like I mentioned, other ways to use them, but, um, all in all, these products have definitely disappointed me. So on that note, you guys, I'm all done. So I hope you have a great day or night wherever you live. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you back again. And until my next video, you guys, peace out.